I'm sorry, what? You can't come in and videotape this type of property? It's a federal building? Yeah. Uh, we can in publicly accessible areas as long as we're fine. It's a judicial order. Is there a, is there, is a what? It's a judicial order. It's a federal yeah. order. It's a judicial order that you can't come into the publicly accessible area? Yeah. Able to go and, uh, I'm sorry, what? Oh, we're not here to film you. Not at all. <laughs> well, I know, but people are walking in and out. It's awkward. I... Concerning this. <laughs> Reuse the posters. Please contact your local postal inspector. That's not a sign that we see in all of the other uh, post offices that we have been to. I'm sorry, what? Go ahead and do around the post office, but not inside, please. Public area. Public I'm accessible area. I'm going to tell you one more time to shut the camera off. Okay, if I don't, what would you You're do? You're in a building that doesn't allow taping. So you can see right here that we have every right. All right, guys, Andrew here once again. We are in Jamestown, North Dakota. Another North Dakota windy day. So we are at the post office here. We're gonna pay these guys a little bit of a visit. See, of course, if they do honor and respect our rights to be able to take photos and videos from publicly accessible areas of the building. And of course, we'll be purchasing our postage stamp and doing all those kinds of things. If it is your first time visiting us here at Due Process, the best thing you could do to help us out if you like what we're doing is to go ahead and just subscribe to the channel. A little bit of noise in the background there. Uh, throw a comment on the video, like the video, and share it on any of the various social media networks that you might have available to you, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, or anything like that. That helps us get all the traffic that we can for the channel, helping us get our subscribers up there so you guys don't have to watch those uh, crazy uh, commercials at the beginning of our videos, and it doesn't cost you a dime. So if you guys are here, we would appreciate that. And then here we'll give you a good walk around the outside of the building. Uh, here in Jamestown, North Dakota. So you can see the back of the building where some of the secure area is here. Uh, rural route parking. Looks like there is a keyed entry to this particular facility in the back of the building. And then there is a door right over there. We are out here on the public sidewalk. And uh, we'll walk around the building really quick. And give you a good tour of this. Hopefully the wind stays died down. It's about uh, 1230 in the afternoon here in um, North Dakota. It's a beautiful day. About 75 degrees, give or take. And uh, we've been traveling around the uh, uh, couple of states here just to kind of give you a good bead on what we've got going on. Here's a gentleman who works for the Postal Service coming on into work. And you can see right here, uh, U.S. property, no trespassing, no skateboards, bicycle riding, or roller skating. Uh, of course is available here inside the thing so we're just going to give you guys a good view of what the uh, post office postal carriers are doing again sorry about that wind guys it has been really windy in the dakotas i think that's pretty normal for with uh, what it is that we do here in uh, north dakota and south dakota lots of cornfields and lots of wind <laughs> so we are up here like we said in jamestown north dakota and uh, just getting you guys some footage here of the back of the building of the post office. A little bit of wind coming through. We did take all the fancy stuff off the uh, off the GoPro here, and uh, that gives us a little low, more low profile as it comes to what we have uh, going on with respect to that. But uh, hopefully, it gives us a lot more time because what was happening with the media mod on the GoPro, the, especially the nine here, is it was um, it was overheating and just shutting off in the middle of our audit. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go through this. I believe it's just the parking lot for the post office, which we'll go ahead and go into here and go around to the front of the building, give you guys some footage of the front of the building and uh, go from there. So you can see right here that we have bulk mail acceptance. That was it, yeah, it looks like a contractor, which is really common uh, for these more rural postal services. And like I said, we're in North Dakota. So this is uh, kind of a small town here. Not really familiar with it. I don't think I've actually done anything but pass through it uh, in my past travels. But uh, we are here getting some good footage of the back of the building here. The loading docks, um, all that kind of thing. And up here is a little bit of a obstacle course for us, <laughs> as it might be. And then we'll spend some time in the front, get you some footage of the front of the building. 
and then we'll go into the building. Got about 45 minutes of time left on our uh, memory card here inside the GoPro. And then we will have used up all of our memory, <laughs> which is really good. So we could chop up all this stuff and uh, make it worthy. And it's not a very busy post office compared to some of the other ones that we've been to. Of course, it is a very small town uh, up here in northern North Earth, mid, mid, about the middle of the southern side of the North Dakota, state of North Dakota. And uh, so there is absolutely nobody out there. It looks like somebody lost their sandals, which is interesting. Um, stop signs. Can't zoom in on anything because it is a GoPro, which is uh, very interesting here. There is an exit on the parking lot. Unauthorized parking mandates a hundred dollar fee. It mandates it, guys. So make sure you don't park in that handicap parking. A little bit of breeze. You can see Old Glory and POW MIA up there waving in the breeze, just like they're supposed to be doing. Um, good shape on those flags. We like that. And then here is the front of the post office. This one also is hiring. Seems like to be a theme across uh, a lot of the post offices here. You can see all the way around the building there. Hopefully the wind is not uh, blocking out a lot of the sound coming through the microphone in the, in the GoPro here. But uh, there you go. You need a good shot of the front of the building right there. The United States Post Office, Jamestown, North Dakota, 58401. And then we have the entryway to the building there. Not a whole lot of uh, interesting things going on with that. Here is the typical drive-in, drop and go. If you guys are uh, in the Jamestown area, and you are looking, of course, for a way to get your mail out. You can bring that right on over here to these mail receptacles. Now, these ones are cleared out uh, every day, Monday through Friday at 5.30 p.m. and 1.15 p.m. on Saturday. So uh, make sure you do get your mail in these boxes prior to that. I know that uh, some of the jurisdictions, some of the places where I've lived previously, they have uh, people who come and take your mail. Um, out of those receptacles so <laughs> make sure you do drop them before collection time don't let them sit there overnight um, obviously there are some uh, legal situations that might take place with respect to people stealing uh, postage or post uh, parcels from the post office but um, here we are back to the front of the building here get you guys some footage of the building and then uh, take some time out here to see how uh, people honor and respect our rights if of course they do and then what we will do is we will uh, go into the building we will get our stamp which is customary which is very usual help this gentleman out after you sir <laughs> thank you man you are very welcome take care Have a you good as day. well See, here's a good view of the downtown area. I think this is the downtown area. Like I said, I've never, uh, never actually been here before. There is UPS driving on by there. And then we will get a little more from outside the building. Let us know what you guys think. If you guys like what it is that we do here, how we do it, and uh, interested in helping us out at all the easiest thing that you can do is if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, click that like button hit that bell notification and of course then go ahead and post a comment down below the video here to see exactly what it is that uh, we do what you like best about what we're doing anything like that and then what we can do is we can uh, uh, reply back to you like we normally do and be happy to uh, help us out with that that doesn't cost you a dime as usual and it helps the uh, YouTube algorithm like get to know exactly what it is that we are doing out here in the uh, North Dakota. So we'll uh, give it a couple more minutes for that gentleman who just went into the building to come out of the building. And then we will go in the building ourselves since there's not a lot happening out here in uh, North Dakota, as you could imagine. Specifically here in Jamestown, North Dakota. 
no smoking inside the building, which is pretty typical. <laughs> Lots of people coming and going now. Maybe it'll get a little bit more exciting. We don't have a lot of issue with uh, anybody at the post offices, really. I mean, the uh, postal carriers, the postal workers themselves have all been very, uh, very cordial for the most part. Some of them are a little uncomfortable with the cameras, but you know, that is okay. I see there is a uh, postal worker over there collecting the uh, the mail that people have dropped into the boxes and uh, collection time obviously 1 30 p.m that means that tells me right now it's about 1 30 in the afternoon here in jamestown north dakota at the united states post office as you can see right up here and we'll uh get her uh get those boxes ready get a little bit of a little bit of action going on i guess so to speak Looks like she does this every day. <laughs> like I said, guys, not a lot of excitement here. Uh, doesn't seem to be an overly busy post office, as it may seem. We will uh, step back after she uh, kind of does that a little bit, get some people coming and going from the post office. Construction going on over there. It looks like they're going to be uh, putting in something, fixing the roads, maybe. I think. I'm not sure. Pretty cool shirt. Feels good compared to that Minnesota heat that we generally have. Let's go take a look at the inside, see if anything uh, stands out for us on the inside of the building. A lot of people seem to use the drive up, so we'll uh, go inside here and kind of inspect what we've got going on. So here is our masks are required that of course is going to be taken down um, October 31st, 2020. It's a little bit aged on that one, considering it is June of 2021. So that one's a little outdated. They do accept cards, which is typical. Stop the spread of germs. Um, if anything COVID-19 has done is it's uh, taught people to wash their hands. Notice that a lot of people, specifically me, when I go to the restrooms, I leave the restroom without washing their hands. I'm washing my hands and then I touch that handle <laughs> that they touched that didn't uh, do that. Jamestown offers stamps, mailing, shipping services, greeting cards, supplies, and P.O. Box rentals, which is fairly, fairly common for, oh, after you. Thank you. And then here we are inside the building, guys. This building is dedicated to public service in 1985 uh, by Ronald Reagan, who was the president at that time, and Paul N. Carlin, who was the Postmaster General. Looks like some uh, oh, that's cool. artwork in the, for, the, for the post office that looks like it came from First Bank of Jamestown. A lot of information about bacteria. Um, CDC protects and prepares communities and how it does that. Very interesting. Let's take a, a bit of a wander around here. Give you guys a good view of the uh, PO boxes inside the building. Please keep children off counter. <laughs> it is surprising that you do have to tell parents not to let their children play on high places. It is very common where we see children. Nothing really unusual here. Some posters. Equal employment opportunity there. Rules and regulations that are con uh, governing the conduct of uh, on postal property. 
and it's basically the document that gives us permission customer's bill of rights it's the first time i've seen that how much you guys have you ever seen a customer's bill of rights in a post office before don't mail drugs <laughs> that will uh i'll get you caught up guys don't do that don't bring weapons onto the premise or the property make our way over here Packaging material. If it fits, it ships. Remember, if you guys are using FedEx or UPS, um, post office here, USPS gives us lots of options for some pretty secure mailings. And they should be relatively competitively priced. And you can see right here depositing the mail, drop box locations. Make sure that they're dropped in the right one if you guys do come over here. See right here some more variable rates on the shipping. Is that these individuals get their uh, business out of the way today, and then we'll go get ours done. Doing uh, a story on the post office. Okay. Just stopped uh, here no. in. Where are we at? No. <laughs> Jamestown. 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 Yeah. yeah. And stopped by this one just to see, of course, they uh, don't mind the camera more than anything. That's what it really comes down to. Oh, well, we're waiting for those. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to get in your guys' way. A <laughs> YouTube channel, what? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why these stickers should be right there. Okay. Right? Thank you. I said, right. you, agree with that. you can't. And you, and you can't take stamps or wipe them. 
Yep. It's like a memorial there. I'm like, I have never heard of that, so <clears throat> I think I better just check with them. <laughs> see. Yep. Guess they don't like the camera. That's okay. We can uh, we can stand here for about forty more minutes on our memory card. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I will I will give them a call and find out what's going on. Okay. Something? Yeah, we're just waiting in line to get a stamp. Get a stamp? Yeah. Are you? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, I see that you have the GoPro, so that's oh, why yeah. I was out there. <laughs> One stamp that says stamp? Dickinson all over it. Is that right? No, we're in Jamestown. We're in Jamestown. Yeah, yes. in Jamestown. The one that represents Jamestown the best. <laughs> if you have one. Mm -hmm. Please. Yeah, of course. Invite you to do the survey about your business awesome. today. Thank you very much. Thank you. you have a good day. You too. Thank you. You can see there is a, uh, a word of excellence for the post office here. And then, Willie's on my back there. Kind of hang out a little bit here and grab a yeah, grab a quick right. view of our clap that we have. And actually, I can't take those because oh, no. we can't accept alcohol boxes. They oh, gotta no be. Name? It's yeah. gotta be completely covered. Eighteen hundred and eighteen sixty-five. Yes. Yeah, that is not not little here. Abraham no, Lincoln. Not the wrapping paper type. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The Emancipation Proclamation. That. That's what that is. Lesson learned. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You can transfer the boxes. Use the shipping boxes. Yeah, just use these ones. Oh. Or if it fits, it ships. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. After you. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Every time, right? Don't yeah. you wish you would have known well, that <laughs> before you put all the tape on? <laughs> well, yeah, that was kind of fun. I had to get rid of the whole anyway. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We are uh, now leaving the Jamestown. Obviously, I had no idea where I was when I got up to the counter there. But uh, we are leaving the Jamestown post office now. We got our stamp. Uh, the employees were a little bit concerned with each other. They weren't concerned with us vocally <laughs> about the, uh, the camera. It looked like the postmaster came out and was curious about what it was that we were doing. Uh, didn't really have a lot to say, but kind of hung out being a creeper in the back background back there but uh, <laughs> that is kind of what you would expect with a lot of uh, a lot of people who are a little shy of the camera but that's okay uh, we do expect people to have that camera shyness but uh, just not take issue with the uh, situation that we are here doing and if you guys liked what you saw um, make sure to give these guys a shout out we'll put the uh, number in the in the description there like we do with all of our videos and you guys can call down and 
let them know that you appreciate their service because it is important that we uh, give good grace where that is due as well not just uh, call people up who, who violate rights but also call the ones that um, that uphold them and make sure that of course uh, we are polite we don't encourage any you know profanity any violence or anything like that it's not what we're out here trying to do we're trying to make awareness to the first amendment and that cameras are not as scary as people make them out to be uh, camera cannot make you look bad camera can't make you look good it can make you look exactly as you make yourself look while it's pointing at you so hopefully that makes sense for you guys like i said if you guys like what uh, you see us doing if you wanted to support the channel the easiest thing that you could do is just subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and uh, like the video and turn on that notification little icon that little bell icon down there throw a comment in the comment section tell us what you think what you want to see and uh, that helps us grow the channel tremendously helps us get more eyeballs on our videos and uh, helps us get rid of those those ads we need a thousand subscribers in order to get rid of those ads at the beginning of the videos uh, that we have been putting up so anything you can do to help us with that we would greatly appreciate and uh, due process andrew here signing out have a good day